Okay, so this is the next video, um, and you can see that I've already kind of highlighted um, some things that you'll want. We're just going to read through it. So we can use um, equilibrium constants, so Kc, to calculate new equilibrium concentrations that result from adding species to or removing species from a system at equilibrium. Um, to help with the calculations, we must determine the direction that the equilibrium will shift by comparing Q with Kc. So we're going to go back to that reaction quotient and... Um, calculate some things. So I'm going to go and warn you, this next problem is going to look pretty long, um, and I left you a whole page, and actually me, because of my handwriting on this app and the video, I actually had to add another page in there. Um, these problems are quite long, so this first one, we're going to really break it down step by step. I'm going to give you a few notes to kind of add in there, and then we'll practice a few other ones uh, to see how you do. Okay, so 1712. Um, an equilibrium mixture from the following reaction was found to contain 0.2 molar of A, 0.3 molar of B, and 0.3 molar of C. Okay, so these are these are in concentrations. Remember, molarity is in terms of moles per liter. Okay, if the volume of the reaction vessel were suddenly doubled while the temperature remained constant, what would the new equilibrium concentrations be? Okay, so this second part where it says temperature remains constant. Um, we can use the same Kc to help us with some calculations. And so um, the steps that you're going to do here, there's three basic steps. I don't know if you'd really call them basic, but we're going to say they're basic. The first one is to okay, find out what your Kc value is. Okay, so remember in this, in this particular one, Kc is going to be concentration of B, concentration of C over concentration of A, and we can plug in our value straight from um, the problem, so 0 0.3, 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.2, and what we get is a Kc value of 0.45. Okay, so that's step one. Step two. Because we know that the reaction volume has been doubled, we're going to end up calculating our reaction quotient. And I can't type, or I can't write on here very good. So find Q, okay? Now, we need to keep in mind, our reaction um, volume has been doubled. So, if you think of A and B and C, okay, we're going to, we know the moles of each that we started out with. So A, we started out with two moles, but we've now doubled the concentration. B and C, okay, both started out with 0.3, but we've doubled the volume. And so we, we get new concentrations. that we can plug in, okay, to our Q and compare Q to Kc. So I'm going to do that over here. Remember, Q is going to, our reaction quotient looks just like Kc. So I'm going to take my B and C, which are both 0 0.15, 0 0.15 divided by 0.1. You get a Q value of 0.22. And um, now we compare Q to Kc. Okay, in this case, Q, remember Q always wants to be on the left-hand side. Kc is going to be on the right. Q is 0.22, Kc is 0.45, therefore Q is smaller than Kc. Now, while we're doing this, why we're doing this is because we need to see which direction equilibrium is going to shift in order to compensate for the stress. Okay, and so based on this, our Q is lower than Kc. So reaction is going to shift forward. This brings us to our third step. Okay. And so I'm going to, this is a, a little bit long of a calculation. So I'm going to rewrite my formula reaction really nice. I am going to do a rice table. Okay, because um, knowing our Kc value, we can predict equilibrium concentration just like we did before. 
Now in step three in this particular problem, we are going to use our new concentrations. Okay, these ones that we solved for here. So let me zoom in because the writing is a little bit easier for me. Okay, so A is 0.1, B and C are 0.15. And because we know the reaction shifts forward, we are going to take away some value X and add some value X to our product side. What this does is it gives us an expression we can use to find out how much it is changing. Okay, so once we get here, now what we can do is we can take our Kc value, okay, since it's at the same temperature, Kc is our equilibrium constant, okay, and we can set our expression up so that we can solve for x. We're going to use our equilibrium concentrations here. Now, unlike the other ones that we've done to this point, okay, when I solve for x here, this does not give me a perfect square. So we unfortunately can't take the square root of both sides. If you look very closely at this type of problem and we solve algebraically, we're going to end up using the quadratic formula because of this top portion. Okay, so I'm going to simplify this. Um, hopefully you remember from Algebra 2 how to do this. I think this is Algebra 2. Um, so I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to kind of go a little faster. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and work out um, the foil part of that. Okay, and that gives me 0 0.0225 plus 0.3x plus x squared. Let's go ahead and distribute here. Okay, we get 0 0.045 minus 0.45x is equal to all of this. I'm not going to rewrite it again. You can, but for notes purposes. Now, what we want to do is we want to get everything to one side because we're going to end up using the quadratic formula. So if we move all of this to that side, remember you do the opposite operation. You're going to end up getting 0 equals, I'm going to kind of reverse this, x squared plus 0.75x uh, minus 0 0.0225. Now once again, I skipped a bunch of the algebra steps because at this point you should be in a high enough math that you would know how to do that. Not in your head, but you should be able to do that on your own. I want to remind you of the quadratic formula. Okay. X equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. <laughs> um, you'll have to ask one of your math teachers what that song was. Um, and just a reminder, this is A, this is B, and this is C. So we, we plug in those values into our quadratic formula. Okay, so X is equal to negative 0.75 plus or minus the square root of 0.75 squared. 4 times 1 times a negative 0 0.0225. Okay, 2 times 1. Now, when you simplify this, what you're going to end up getting are two values. You're going to get a negative 0.78 and a 0 0.03 molar. 
Now, if you don't remember the quadratic formula, there is a way to do this by graphing if you have a graphing calculator. I'm not going to be able to explain that on here, but if you want, we can set up a zoom and I can show you how to use your graph, graphing calculator to calculate um, these zero points. It's actually really easy. And if you um, get a question like this on the AP exam, I actually would graph um, the quadratic formula and solve for your zeros that way instead of having to do the quadratic formula. Okay, now here is the analyzing of this. So let me zoom out. Okay, our x values are this. Now, since, this is a very important part, since our x has to be something greater than 0, but less than 0 0.10 molar, remind you, we only start out initially with 0 0.1 molar of A. Okay, so if we're going to lose a certain amount, we can only lose a value less than that. Okay, so looking at the numbers above, one of these we can discard. We can discard our negative value. Therefore, x is going to be 0 0.03 molar. And so knowing that, now we can calculate concentration of A, concentration of B and C, since they're both equal. Okay, A was point one uh, minus X, and so that will be 0 0.07 molar. B and C were both 0.15 plus X, and so that value is going to be 0.18 molar. Okay. And so these are the new concentrations after equilibrium has been disturbed. Okay, that was a pretty long problem, so if you have to watch it again,